Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli wa nusalli wa ala rasulihi al-kareem amma ba'd. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let's continue some ahadith which, uh, which gives preference to, to death over life. So one of the one of the hadith is this that عن أبي الله بن عمرو بن العاص رضي الله عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الدنيا سجن المؤمن والسنة فإذا فارق الدنيا فارق السجن والسنة. So our Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he is he is mentioned he has said that the world الدنيا سجن المؤمن والسنة that the world is is a jail. The world is a jail, it is a prison for a believer. Wasanata and the the world is a is a place of, of drought for a believer. So the world is a place or is a prison for a believer and it's a it's a place of drought for a believer. Then the Prophet said that when a person departs the world then he departs this this prison and he departs this place of drought. So our Prophet ﷺ has mentioned the the world to be like a prison and this is in comparison to the matters which Allah Ta'ala has prepared for a believer in the Akhirah. Because as long as a true believer he he's in the world then there's restrictions which are which are placed on him. I believe that he he has to pray at this time. He has to fast at this month, and he has to keep his gaze low from from unlawful unlawful scenes and un unlawful things. A believer, a true believer, he can't indulge in riba. You know, Nowadays, it's, if, if anyone wants to make money, then what's the easy route? You know, go to the bank and borrow some money and, and pay riba and pay interest. Very easy. But a believer, a true believer, he can't indulge himself in, in riba. In the same manner, a true believer, he can't he can't drink. Uh, he can't sell alcohol. A true believer, he can't he can't go Friday nights. He can't go out Friday nights partying. You can't go clubbing, you can't go to the disco. <laughs> so the, the restrictions are endless. And when a person's in jail, then he's he's behind a cell. He can only leave that cell when at a certain time. He can he can eat at a certain time. He can do his leisure work at a certain time. Then he has to go back in. So there's only so much a person can do whilst they're spending time in jail. So in the same manner. Whilst a mu'min, or whilst a true believer, he spends his time on the earth, there's only so much he can do. And the second word our Prophet ﷺ mentioned in describing the world, that ad-dunya, sijun mu'min, was sanata, and the and the, the world is is a place of a place of drought for a believer. A place of drought. It's a place which is which is barren. There's no growth there. And you know, for example. It happens in hot countries as well where there's there's a lack of rain so because of that there's there's no produce so when when there's a place which is you know, there's no produce being which is being grown then um it's just dry and it's fruitless you know so if you even if you plant something something in there nothing's gonna nothing's gonna grow out you're not going to see any fruits in there so the the world is a place of draw in a sense that when a when a believer they do any good act and so doing a good act is like planting a seed. But that seed will not flourish in the world. You will not see the, the fruits of your of a of of your efforts of your efforts in in following the deen in this world. You'll, most of the time, the real fruits and the true rewards they'll only be experienced and seen in the hereafter. So, from that aspect, the world is a place of of drought. Why? Fruits, the true fruits of our of our sacrifices for the the true fruits of us really giving ourselves to Allah Taala and really following the commands of Allah Taala can't be seen. 
and they won't be seen in this world, they'll only be seen in the hereafter. Hence when a person, for example, they, they try to walk on the path of deen, an easy way to make money is to is to indulge in riba. So easy. But when a person avoids that, and if he doesn't take that route, then sometimes what happens is he he won't see the fruits of of avoiding that action. Similar, uh, is, it goes to, it goes for any act of obedience. Majority of the time, when a believer they they restrict themselves and they they avoid haram, then there are occasions where they do see the fruits, of course. But majority of the time, to see the real fruits and the real benefits, that it's it's not witnessed in the world. This is something which will be given, and this is something something which a person will be rewarded with in the hereafter. And so may Allah Taala gives a tawfiq to benefit, inshallah Taala. May Allah Taala gives a tawfiq to to pass this world. Acquiring the pleasure of Allah Ta'ala. Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallah, bihamdi, kashadu Allah, ilahi ta'an, istakhiru ka'utu 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 ka